Hello everybody, it's Drew Ebanks on point, on location. You know what we do, we bring you the best in Canadian basketball and we have a special guest today, Natalie Achanwa. Natalie, how are you? I'm good, I'm glad to be home for these couple days and it's always great to see familiar faces and be with you guys here at On Point. What is it like playing in the WNBA? I mean, <laughs> you're playing against and with the best in the world. Um, it's, it's really just an honor for me to put on a jersey every time. It doesn't matter what jersey I'm really putting on, I, I love the fact that I can put a ball in a hoop for a living. Um, and really just fortunate enough that I'm physically able to play the game of basketball. Um, so to be able to do it in the WNBA, make a living for it, <laughs> and play against some great- I'm jealous of you. <laughs> I'm jealous of you suiting up in front of all those thousands of fans. You're off season, or sorry, what do you do when you're not playing? What do you do for fun? We see some of your posts. We see a little chef skills happening. You know, you mentioned Italy. We know with the food. But what do you do when you're on your downtime from playing? Um, I also have a dog, uh, a little see puppy, that. Aston. He's my little son, so <laughs> spend a lot of time with him. Like you said, I like to cook, so I'm in the kitchen a lot. What's your favorite thing you like to cook? <laughs> I did make a bomb lasagna the other day. I saw that. I, like I saw orders, that. I saw the oven. You were like, hey, check it out. You open it up. Bubbly. It looked good. It was actually pretty good. I ate it the whole week. <laughs> but yeah, I like to, I just like to spend my time really in the house because I'm on the road so much. Right. So I'm pretty much a homebody. I like to spend time with my family and really just, just kick it. That's great. Uh, what would you tell the young kids coming up? We know we have so many talented young ladies coming up behind you playing for Canada, the juniors and, uh, you know, the cadets, all that. And then, the, you know, right after you, what would you tell these young ladies coming up? And shoot for the stars, really. You have to you have to really dream big because um, some things they might see seem little in the moment. But if you just sell yourself short by setting just I want to score 20 points this game, I want to do this in the moment. You have to really look beyond that um, and, and really shoot for the stars, because if you work hard, anything you can achieve really anything. And I'm a testament to that. All right. Before we go, we got to talk to you a little bit about your gear here. We see you got the Kobe's. You're rocking them. Yeah, Canada basketball. You guys got to the World Championships coming up September uh, again. I mean, how happy are you? Obviously, you're going to get through the season and then head over there. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, Canada is embedded in who I am. Um, since I was 15, 16, I've been playing with the national team program. So I'm always fortunate and, and blessed to be able to put on a shirt, a jersey, anything to represent them. Um, and anyone knows me knows that Canada is who I am. So. Um, World Championship coming up. I'm excited um, to be able to get back with them and, and hopefully come out with a medal.